Hi, Paul from Discovery World here, and it's a great day for science. Today, what I want to work with you on is something called displacement. Now, some things float and some things sink. This boat here, we hope will float. And it does. But why? Well, because it can't push down more than the water is pushing up. Well, that has to do with a couple of different things. One, something that we call its mass, how much stuff is in there. And the other thing is its volume or how much space that stuff takes up. Now this boat, we can't change much on it. But if I make one out of foil and I float it in here, it's also floating, so not pushing down more than the water is pushing up, but I can change something on it. I can add some weights into it. So here I have some pennies. You can use almost anything you want. And I can start putting this in. And as I start loading up the pennies, I'm putting more and more stuff in the same amount of space. So I'm changing its mass. But this is about displacement. Well, as this boat is sitting in the water, it has to push the water out of the way. Anything that goes into water does that pushing. It's not as easy to see, but what I did is I put a line here to show my watermark. And when things are in there, it's actually pushing the water. So if I lift the boat out, the water level goes down. If I put the boat back in, the water level goes up. And that's really cool for things that float. But you can do this kind of activity and explore displacement with all sorts of things, including things that don't float. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change what's in front of me and I'm gonna set up some an activity with things that you might have around the house. Okay, now I set up some of these things that I have. What I wanna check out first is something that still does float, this rubber duck. Now what I have here is a measuring cup and I filled it up to 150 milliliters. I like to use milliliters because they're smaller, so it's easier for me to read the difference, and also because milliliters are what we use in science. So it's at 150 milliliters right now. I'm gonna put the duck in, and when I do, the water level goes up. Now, if I wanna find out the displacement of this duck, I can take and look at how high is the water level now and how high was it when I started? The difference between those two numbers is the duck's displacement. Now, let's say I want to use a different duck. Same thing, I can take this duck, I can put it in the water, and the water level goes up. This duck doesn't fit in here quite as well as I'd like. And if you have something like the saber-toothed tiger that I found, he doesn't really fit in there at all. So how can I do that, all these measurements, without being able to make it work right. Well, here I have a jar. Now this is just an old spaghetti jar and I put a mark on here. This mark is for exactly 500 milliliters of water. So if I put my duck in now, the water level will go up. More importantly, if I put my saber tooth tiger in, it fits and I can watch the water level rise but there's no marks on here. How am I going to know how much water has been displaced? Well, I can use a trick and you can do this at home too. Because I know this is exactly 500 milliliters of water, I'm gonna pour some of it off. And now I'm going to take my duck and put it in. And there's not enough water for that duck to really make it rise. So I'm now just going to pour water in until the water hits the line. All right, the water hit the line, but I still have water left in here. Well, let's find out how much. I'll pour it into this measuring cup. And this measuring cup is showing me that I have about 10 milliliters of water that's still there. All right, now I know a little bit more about how much water is being displaced. Let's try the saber tooth tiger. Take this duck out of here. Same thing. 
pour off some of the water to begin with. Put my saber tooth tiger in the water and add water until it gets to the line. Pour off the extra. So the duck had a little over 10 milliliters of water, and this is almost 40 milliliters of water. So that saber-toothed tiger is displacing, it's pushing away a lot more water. And the amount, the weight of the water, if the saber-toothed tiger weighs more than that, it's going to sink. If it weighs less than that, it's going to float. Even objects that float still will displace water. Don't believe me? Give it a try yourself. I don't know what you're going to test, but I know it's going to be great. So whether it's a foil boat that you made yourself, or a toy that you have lying around your house. What you've seen are some ways that you can actually test and see how much water gets pushed away. You actually do the same thing anytime you get into a swimming pool or a bathtub. Give it a try yourself. We'd love to know what it is that you have been doing with this experiment. Send us a description or some photos to at home at discoveryworld.org or send us photos and videos to our Instagram or Facebook pages. We hope you've had fun we can't wait to see you next time.